Yo, what is up, ladies and gents? Tempest here. And we are back at it with Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Now, yesterday, uh, last night, I uh, basically completed the, you know, the necessary grinding for the last remaining uh, sort of challenge mission for the event. And now we are completely done with anything that has to do with the Synchro event. Which means we can actually get right back into grinding uh, ranked, which has been a while since we last did that. I think it's been like, I almost want to say it's been like over a week since we've actually been grinding ranked uh, at all. So uh, yeah, honestly, it's been quite a while. I think the last time we had managed to go back from Platinum 4 into Platinum 3. So now we're fresh. No, we just got into Platinum 3. Uh, we haven't uh, made any other duels in Platinum 3 since. Uh, here is the deck. It is completely unchanged since the last time. And yeah, honestly, I don't really think there's anything else to do about it, but uh, just get it right into it. Yeah, like, wait, just uh, might do some changes. No as we go, but for now I think I won't do anything. It has been a while since uh, we've actually played uh, the deck, so might be a bit rusty, hopefully it's not too bad. And yeah, um, probably not going to be too a too long of a stream, considering uh, I am starting later than usual, so I'm a bit late, sorry about that. Yeah, so. Yeah, uh, honestly, not much else to say, but let's get this going. But here we're starting strong with uh, not much. So we could Chaos Space in black, which is basically the whole combo, unless if they uh, ash it, then we might actually be in trouble. Well, let's uh, go try and go for it. They do not have anything, okay. Very good. 14 card extra deck, kinda sus. Makes you wonder what they're playing exactly, but, you know. Let's go for Striker. If I recall, we do have two blacks, so. Alright, we do. Let's go like this, now we can summon out black as well, and we have to actually use Chaos Space's effect, because we are only playing one white, if I recall, so let's just return that right back into the deck. We got Cross out, very nice. Uh... Oh, that's right, we're not playing Ravine in this, that's right. Kind of weird, actually. Why aren't we playing Ravine? Hold up. Uh, I could make. Oh, I could make a Riser Dragon. Uh, nah. Let's just make Seals. Has been a while, so I don't exactly remember. Not gonna lie, I actually kind of forgot what's in my deck, even though I just like looked at it uh, five minutes ago. Interesting decision to, <laughs> from my part to not play, uh, to not play Romulus. Okay, I wonder why I chose to do that. <laughs> this guy actually don't know. Uh, do we set Red Rose? Sure. Let's set Red Rose. Why not? All right, let's see. What are they playing right now? Okay, Cyber Dragons or Drytron, let's see. Drytrons, okay. Hmm. 
Okay, so we can't actually mess this up. We're gonna have to bounce the right one. We have droplets as well. Okay, so they got the Alpha into Zeta. No, they got Alpha into Benton directly, okay. We are playing Sloth in, in the this for in this deck list, so there is that. Sure. Adding Diviner, okay. Yeah, they're gonna activate Zeta. Hey, Nostalgic Gamer, what's up? Nibiru them? Yeah, probably. That's the... I think that's gonna be the plan. Depending on th how things go. You have no idea how Nibiru works? Uh, basically, when your opponent summons five or more monsters, you can tribute all face-up monsters on the field to summon Nibiru, so... Uh, hmm, let's see. Right now, they've only summoned twice, so I'm like three summons away from having Nibiru work. Hey, they're going for Link Karibo, okay. Attributing Ben 10, okay. Let's see. Are they gonna add orange light? Because that would be kind of annoying. So here we do have the option for Nibiru. Let's hold off uh, it for now. Because uh, luckily we do have a uh, droplet as well, so... Our Nibiru would have, like, huge value. What are they gonna add? Orange light, okay. Here, I'm trying to think when's the best time to use everything. Yeah, here they can try and search something. Sure. Because I'm thinking I'm going to try and uh, activate seals to uh, bounce the, uh, the XC monster. They're going to chain orange light. And then we can chain the Biru. There it is. Yeah, so let's activate this. Seals tribute itself. They're gonna activate orange light. Each your can send one dry charm from your deck to your graveyard, okay. Okay, so first I do want to activate Droplet here, just to negate the Fafnir. Let's send the Red Rose. And let's Nibiru them. So 
So just like that, now that our whole field gets tributed away, we will summon Nibiru on our side of the field. And we will give them a very big token. And with our summon from the extra deck, or from the deck, actually, I think we're just gonna go for, uh, Hmm, I don't think I want to go for Sloth. That might be risky. Just go for uh, Rocks Rose Dragon. I don't want to go for Sloth because I don't actually have a way to out my own Sloth if uh, that does happen, so... Alright, hopefully we hit them at, at a right time. Okay, so they have their own droplet, okay. Discarding Ava. Uh, you know what? I can actually, uh... You know what? I actually send my, my own dro a droplet. There you go. I already dropleted them once, so... I don't need, need mine to resolve this time. And it will be useful. I do need to search as follow-up. It could be pretty useful. There we go. So now I can go into seals and make other synchro plays. They will get an Ava search, which is annoying. But I'm pretty sure they've used all their Drytrons. And unless that last card is specifically like the ritual spell, they shouldn't be able to continue from here. Alright, so we did kill their turn. Awesome. Now, can we kill them through Orange Light? Hopefully we can. Uh, let's see. I think Galaxy Serpent, Rocks Rose. We could send out White. Yeah, I think, we'll, I think we got this. So, here we can make access code, I do believe. Yeah, we'll just make access code because they can't react to that and we should be able to OTK. Yeah, so just like that we'll go... Yeah, we'll go for Unicorn, and we won't use the effect. Anyways, not that we can, because, you know, no hand. Let's go for this. Oh, here we go out with access code. Uh, hey, Pice, what's up? How are you doing? What's good? I'm about to OTK Drytron. Let's go. Yeah, how about you? Now we banish Striker, pop the token, and go for the kill. There we go. Nice, that actually went really well. I think this is the first time I actually get to use Nibiru on someone. Yeah, you're doing good as well? Nice. Uh, that's pretty good to hear. Yeah, I did start streaming streaming a little late, but uh, yeah, yeah, you basically only missed like the first duel. And yeah, uh, nothing else has changed about the deck. So you missed with Phantom Knights a bit more uh, today. And wow, <laughs> yeah. Oh, is the is the deck really good? It is consistent to Rongo. Yeah, I, I think you just need like two level threes. Is uh, what I heard, and generally speaking, you have the full combo. So yeah, no, it's extremely consistent, uh, from what I hear. <laughs> Still disgusted by the fact that you play Rongo, but sure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, we open Nibiru again, which is kind of broken. Uh, hmm. Let's try this. 
two level threes and a discard fodder. Yeah. Hyper consistent. Uh, do I want to discard Sue? These plays are kind of whack, I'm not gonna lie, but depends on the level threes, though. Oh, do they do they specifically have to be like burning abyss or something, or not exactly? One has to be a fan mate. Okay. One, two, three. Four. Almost always. Okay. Is the deck expensive? I, mean, I haven't actually looked into like Phantom Knights and Bearing Abyss. I can only imagine the extra deck has got to be like a whole lot of yours, right? Uh, as for this, do I want to keep going? I actually feel like discarding the Super Chaos base. See how that goes. The deck is not very expensive. Oh, neat. Mostly generic stuff. Nice. Oh, I forgot I only play one striker. Wow, I have misplayed this, yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since I've played the deck. I actually forgot how to play it. <laughs> I actually don't have other plays. Wow. <laughs> Just summon black. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I actually should probably look at the deck a bit more. I've, uh... Completely forgotten how to play it. Oh, it's fine. We're playing against the Egyptian God card, so we should be fine. Alright, let's see. Well, this Nibiru is probably never going to resolve, so <laughs> that's something. Dissing your favorites, I see. <laughs> uh, not, uh, not necessarily a diss, more like just being brutally honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally dissing them, I'm sorry. It's not a good deck. So what could the set be? Probably like the slime, I'm guessing. I'm sorry, gamer. Uh, in, but in, in before I lose, right? Okay, so they actually uh, drew Ash this time. Goddess ain't good, but hey, it's jank. Not fair. All right, that, that's unfortunate. Now, <laughs> let's normal summon Ash Blossom. Just the play of the sentry here. Gotta say, good, but hey, it's jank, yeah. Or gods, sorry. It could also be you, Bell, or Sacred Beast. Uh, I mean, I feel like Sacred Beast, you would prioritize the actual Sacred Beast uh, field spell, right? Because it gives the same protection and lets you draw two, so. Alright, as for this one, let's go into Shooting Riser. Could be wrong, though. So what synchros are we playing here? Let's activate this. I forget, I think we have Baron in here, right? Yeah, we have Chaos Ruler, we have Warload. Uh, maybe let's go for... Chaos Ruler. I don't know. You would, but slot of... <clears throat> Sorry. You would, but slot of times you use... 
you use it to not take damage when you don't get the traps or spells early. Oh, a lot of times, okay. Yeah, I wasn't too sure. Uh, what are we gonna send? I feel like we should send a level 3. Right, because he's 7. Yeah, we're gonna have to send a level 3. The only level 3 we have is Rose. Okay, we'll send Red Rose. Because the Rocks Rose is already in here, so... Uh, Autocorrect hates you. Uh, that's fine. Uh, that happens, you know. The piss I had a hand where I made Ronko with no normal. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you're, uh... Yeah, Rongo Turbo is kind of, uh... <laughs> kind of gross. And I... The, the wait after every summit makes me think that this is just a torrential tribute. Let's see. Uh, let's try and figure out if it is. We're gonna shuffle black back a black. Okay, no. They can respond to it, so. Yeah, we got convocation. Let's go. I do kind of feel like making... So I don't know if I want to commit too much in case they do have like uh, seal, uh, not seal, sphere mode. Although I'm not quite sure why I'm worried about sphere mode when I could probably just kill them. Let's just try and kill them. Let's see how that goes. So make savage. Black and we will equip Striker Dragon. Uh, for re reference on pro <laughs> whoa, Exodia Obliterate. Okay, how did this guy get to platinum? Respect. Um, so in one forbidden. I mean, yeah, we're definitely gonna negate that. They're playing Exodia God Card. What? Okay, sure. Uh, all of a sudden, I'm not worried about what we're playing against. Uh, this is... <laughs> serious levels of jank right here, so... Uh, for reference, the pre on press of Phantom Knights, though, my Medulci deck is a lot more expensive. What? That is not okay. <laughs> it's not okay at all. <laughs> that should not be the case. Mm, let's go for... Yeah, so here we should just be able to OTK. Yeah. Let's just banish this. We're gonna make Unicorn spin whatever is here, and uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go for this. In before they have Nibiru. Yeah. I'll actually use a Sue last. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, it's a good bit of, a bit of super rares, though. Like, most of the main deck. Okay, yeah, that's fair, though. Although, at least super rares aren't too... Uh, at least super rares aren't too bad to go by, you know? Alright, and... Unless a giant rock shows up, I think we have another OTK. Very nice. All right, just our luck, so. Here is a, what the? Oh, shit, Guardian Slime. I actually forgot about that, whoops. All right. Oh, that's actually annoying. Uh, I should have attacked with, uh... <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see what this thing does come again. Uh, you can special summon this card from your hand during damage calc if this card, okay. If this card is sent from hand or field to the graveyard, add one spell trap card from your hand that specifically lists... Okay. Uh, this can... They can tribute this to make the god slime. 
which would be annoying. Hmm. If I go, I could banish seals and unicorn. Pop these two, but then that will give them two searches. What could they search? Sphere mode I don't care about. What could they search if I... Let's see, if I pop this, it add, they add a Divine Beast. Probably raw. If I pop this, they search what exactly? Um, then that will give them... Yeah, yeah, or if they have a Monster Reborn, summon Gustav. Oh, that's right. That's probably your deck, yeah. Um... Because uh, they can't sphere mode me. Uh, is there like a two card combo they could search that lets them summon like a... Well, okay, it, it's gonna be a small uh, Winged Dragon of Raw, actually. Yo, actually, yeah, it's gonna be tiny, what the hell? I'm pretty sure even if they do summon Raw, Axis Code should be bigger. So I, against my better judgment, I think I will pop and give them the searches. But Gustav is would be deadly on my turn. On their turn, rather. Fortunately, Boral Load it has no negate. So, oh, they're okay. They're searching Obelisk. Which can't kill this, so that's fine. We'll banish Unicorn. Pop this. What, are they, what else are they searching? Because this has to list the Winged Dragon or Raw, so... Well, sorry, it doesn't have to search a Winged Dragon of Raw, my bad. It searches a card that lists the Winged the wing Dragon of Raw specifically. And the fact they added Obelisk is kind of weird. Okay, send one Divine Beast, add one Monster Reborn. Okay, so that's the Monster Reborn searcher, but... They can't really Monster Reborn anything that is bigger than my field, so... All right, let's see. Yeah. So they're gonna activate that. A uh, spell that lets them use your monsters. And Ra gains attack of the tributed monsters. Yeah, but I, I only have uh, three monsters, right? For some reason, it's sent before you, you finish. Oh, that's fine. Uh, well, they didn't search it. Yeah, so they're getting rid of raw. Oh, I guess, uh, you yeah, know, no, that's it. I guess they could Monster Reborn Obelisk, but then Obelisk is just going to send itself, so... This will kill uh, Boral Savage, though. Yeah. Although, if they do get to tribute two monsters, then I might actually be... Oh, they could just use the effect Wipe My Field out, that is true. And I will be top decking, but so will they. Yeah, okay, so they're using the effect wiping my field, that is fair. Oh, and there's a leg of Exodia, okay. Wait, what? Push the summon from your graveyard with what? Oh, they just used the effect, but. Okay. Yo, we got safer, because we're so good, alright. Here, I, I already used everything. I'm pretty sure I'm out because here's white and black is... 
Wait, I return black to the deck. Okay. I mean, we could just deck then, I guess. Let's add black. Yo, what? Oh, I could return a savage. Nice. Alright, let's summon out black. We're gonna banish the Nibiru. So they can't use that against us. Let's return the Savage to the extra deck. And that is that is all our place for the moment, but they are currently stuck in stuck in top deck mode. Unless they have another slime, that would suck. No, they don't. Okay. Neat. Okay, I think we should be fine. Phase, all right, so if we get a normal summon, I think we win. Nope, but we do get Chaos Base, okay. Let's set Chaos Base as a bluff. Maybe they'll MST it. All right, last turn. Do they get anything? They do not. Okay. Well, that was a uh, much closer than I was than I would have uh, hoped, but wasn't expecting the battle fader. There you go. And just like that, good game. Awesome. So now we are two more wins away. I do want to see their deck though, <laughs> just cause. It's Exodia and God Cards, wow. Yeah, I'm not surprised they bricked. Gonna be really on <laughs> real honest here. Um Interesting deck. What is this search? One Guardian. Yo, this search is Guardian Slime. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Okay. <laughs> that's so bad. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> what? You're ashamed? Yeah, I'm kind of ashamed for them as well. Wait, how did they... How are they? How did they get to Platinum with this deck? There's no way. There's absolutely no way they got to Platinum with this. I refuse to believe it. It's impossible. Like, what? They got the platinum with this? I am impressed. Wow. Man, so far, noticing a lot of problems with the main deck. I don't know why I ever thought this was a good idea. Yeah, I should probably remove this, add in Romulus, put in Ravine. They probably used a different one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, maybe they, like, switched to this one for, like, shits and giggles, but... Oh, Pice, you're back! Yo, Pice! Okay, that means you missed it. Look, uh, the... So you missed uh, this. Uh, I just went up against this deck, okay? Uh, thoughts, Pice? Uh, I, want, I want to have your opinion on this, because, uh... You know, you, you're a pretty good duelist. I, I want to know what you think about this deck. In the fact that this person probably got to plat five with this. <laughs> Incredible, I know, right? <laughs> Best deck. <laughs> Alright, if you say so, man. <laughs> it's like what? 
five five vanillas and then like four five five cards you can't summon amazing yeah um as for this i feel like i need to make some changes this is um no longer yeah pe move aside pendulum you're no longer the best deck the best deck is uh monster mash i guess raw exodia yeah i don't know it's not even raw it's just god card exodia because there's all the god cards in it uh let's see here we can go ravine why did i ever remove you from the deck i don't remember maybe it's because i never went to romulus but i don't know it just feels kind of uh hmm It's kind of weird now that, I, now that it's been like over a week I'm looking at the deck and I'm like how did I come up with this and think yes this is good um <laughs> no, it's rocks yeah it's uh it's interesting for sure okay let's remove this guy let's put in Romulus let's uh Let's try this. I don't know. I think it's weird not playing a, uh, not playing the Romulus package. So, although I think maybe I, I think I remember why exactly it was because with the Chaos package alone, you would only get to like. You make one link two, but you don't necessarily have a follow up, so you would always go into seals. I think is the reason. But just like that, Ravine is what unbreaks my hand, so. Fantastic! Let's activate Ravine. And we'll actually discard Nibiru. What could possibly go wrong? Because we don't have an Ash. Uh, let's just send a uh, good old Tempest, yeah? And maybe by seeing a... Uh... No, so now the opponent knows that we're playing Nibiru, at least one copy. So hopefully when we maxi next turn, uh, they won't go all in. It might just, like, scare them. Let's go for this. Let's go into... So this is Seal's Pass, which isn't the best. But, uh, we do have Maxi, and a way to counter anything they might use to try and like not let let us use uh, Maxi. So, and they know that we're playing Nibiru, so maybe that will discourage them from like from trying to like uh, push for game or anything. Let's see. Sky Striker. Okay. Alright, that could be annoying. Okay. I think here we can go for... Okay, Striker is kinda GG. What, what do you mean? Good game for them? Yeah. I don't know how they're gonna recover from this. So they just out, out resource everyone? Eh, not everyone. <laughs> Including me. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Here I could go. Seals, 
activate seals, they'll probably chain ray, then we can activate maxi in response. Um, hmm, let's see. It's morphin time? Yeah. Let's activate Maxi. But hello, Freakzoid. How you doing? Doing good? They didn't chain. Fantastic. Um. Okay, sure. Morphing time. Okay, so now they're gonna use it. Cool. Target one other card you control. Excavate the top three cards of your deck. Decent. Finish the rest of your one class, so you just got one more exam. Oh, nice. That's cool. That is uh, pretty good news. Hopefully, you pass. Uh, sure. Let's activate the top three cards of your deck, yeah. Control no monsters in your main monster zone. Target a face up. Cool. I mean, sure, that's fine. Pot of desires, okay. That's one spell. another spell so here we will activate a seal well let's see now what they do here they're gonna activate their own maxi which is kind of weird what I mean, sure. If I activated Max C and I use Cross Out to negate their Max C, does that mean my Max C doesn't work anymore? <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just going to give them one draw. I don't think it's worth uh, using Cross Out for that. So here we can return Shiziku, which will get, let them summon out the ray again. Your ma my max already resolved anyway. Oh, okay. Ah, <gasps> they put in defense position. Defense position, get wrecked. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ah. Oh. Hey, he gets special yeah, destroyer leaves the field. He gets special summon this card, yeah. Oh, that's funny. Alright. Nice. <laughs> Sloth moment. <laughs> oh, you left to see it, man. You just left to see it. Now, how do I out my own sloth? 
Um, let's see. Okay, so here. <laughs> Desperation. Uh, okay. So I can activate Convocation Troopy over my own Sloth. That is a thing. Wait, well, yeah, we basically out this thing, which is annoying. Actually, do I even care? Yeah, I could tribute over it with a heretic. Do I care about that, though? Hmm. Uh, maybe I do, actually. You need to out it, yeah. Um... Sloth control. I don't know if you. Are you saying you don't know I need to out it, or I don't know if you. I even need to out it. Because I'm going for the. I don't know if I even need to out it. I could summon Tempest, summon Black. Let's see how this goes first of all. They're gonna activate Ash. Yes, they will. Awesome. Get you baited. Yeah, because if they don't have another... Oh no, they could just uh, use the burner they searched next turn, so... Um... Okay, so here I could add... Nephthet, I could add Sue. Let's go for Sue. Oh, do they have, like, something else? I think they have a maxi as well. In which case, that would be kind of annoying, actually. Whoops. Let's ban the, banish this. Okay, that's Tempest. We could tribute over the... Bl oh, whoops, I didn't. <laughs> whoops. Let's uh, discard the safer. Uh, what do I want to send? Nothing actually. I didn't actually mean to click on this. Whoops. Um, let's see. I can tribute summon Sue. Activate Tempest. Bring him out. Make seals, pop seals, and tribute the pop the back row. Wait, no. If I um, no, actually no. If I uh get rid of sloth, they just uh, they float into ray and they use ray's effect, and that's just annoying. So I think we won't even bother with it quite yet. I think we'll out the ray first. So let's banish these two. Their back row is off, yeah, so it's probably a hand trap like Maxi. No, it's not Maxi, okay. They have something in hand. But I'm gonna out the Ray first, because if I just tribute into it, they get to float and they're gonna start being annoying, so. Yeah, I think we're just gonna do this then. Right, because if I do this, summon seals, tribute seals pop. Yeah, the whole time they do get, they get to just float. So let's just go for this, actually. Effect Veiler. Oh, on Sloth. Okay, okay. Continue my main phase. Yes. I will continue my main phase, because you just turned off Sloth for me. And funny enough, it's going to turn back on on your turn. <laughs> The, that's like the worst thing they could have done. Um, Alright, well I guess we just... Uh, let's do almost summon rocks, Rose. We'll get the search. We get to add Basil Rose. So thanks to them turning off Sloth for us, we actually get to summon out um, 
Baron on their turn. <laughs> Yo, they turned off my sloth for me. I'm not gonna get rid of this because on their turn it's gonna get it's it's gonna become live again. Uh I won't allow that. Fantastic. I don't think they realized just what they did. Okay, so there's that. Let's bring this out. Oh, they have a Nibiru. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I could have definitely OT. I, could, I definitely could have OTK'd, but now it's like, uh, well, surely they're able to like. Uh... Okay, so we won't be able to kill this turn, but we do have Tempest in Grave. And if they don't get access to Array again, then that is going to be huge. Yeah, but they did have uh, Afterburner, so they can... Uh... Oh, they top-decked it. Cool. <laughs> of course they did. So here they're going to get rid of Nibiru. They're going to... What? Okay. Um, Because they searched Afterburner. Right. Wherever it is there. So they have this. That we know. Okay, they got Engage, of course. Alright. You, you want to bet they're only playing Wind of Beer as well, and they just happen to top deck it? Okay, so they're not even going to use the Hayate. Okay, so the, that's how they get rid of the token, okay. They have two spells in Grave. They're gonna have three spells in Grave. <laughs> Rip the token? Yeah. Back with three spells in the graveyard. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, no, they, they get special and shit. Hold up. The effects aren't negated? What? <laughs> Hold up. Hold on a second, wait, what? Wait. I, I don't think I like this. Yo, they actually topped the, the shark cannon as well. Wow. Guys, I feel like I'm getting sacked. Am I getting sacked? They targeted Ravinia. Yeah. Oh, that's bad? Yeah, I think it is. I think so too. Well, they used the Zeke for some reason. Let's see.
Yeah, I think I I feel like uh if they're just playing Wind Nibiru, I'm gonna feel cheated. <laughs> Yo, we got red eyes. Mm, let's banish these two. Wow, I think we lose. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Rip. Yo, no way they're returning to my extra in my extra deck, right? Okay, if that's all they're gonna do though, that actually buys us some time, because now the negate isn't live. Yeah, so what was the card they set? Hold up. The card they set was engage, okay. And we can bring out Tempest, tribute over... Wait, yeah, wait, wait, we actually, um... Not that we're necessarily, like, super fine, but this is much better than before. Uh-huh. Tempest, banish those two, summon out. Tribute over with Sue. Then we can tribute Sue from our hand, pop this. Ah, uh, let's see. Wait a minute. By the way, can Sky Striker do anything to Avramax? Just wondering. Just like a wonder, uh, random question. Everything they have targets, right? Or am, I, or am I wrong about that? We can make access code. Against Evermax, that does nothing. Uh, sorry, yeah. With, assuming I make Evermax with IP Mascarina, I mean. It has no out then it other than Nib. Oh, okay, so we make an Evermax and uh, we wait patiently for them to suffer. This, I'm gonna know the other one. IP Avermax, they have no out. Okay, so we're gonna objective, we try and make IP Avermax somehow. Uh, if this card leaves the field once per turn during the end phase, you can set striker spells with different names from your graveyard. Okay, cool. So here, if I go banish Galaxy Serpent, summon red eyes. Wait, no, 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 let's do this, actually. Okay, this is actually bad. If they have... Surely they would have stopped this with an effect veiler, so I'm gonna go with the, the idea that they don't have effect veiler. Awesome. Can't you just revive seals and make IP with the other two? Uh, Avermax specifically has to be like if you summoned it from the extra deck. But I can make it with uh, these guys here. Alright, here. Uh Yeah, so here we find out if my chat is honest. 
and knows their stuff. <laughs> but for real, okay, so let's go into Evermax. Anyway, uh, let's just find out what they do against this. Uh, don't think it matters, right? Actually, let's. I guess we can leave the Baron on their field. It doesn't matter. And so, what if they get to float? That's fine. You can go ahead. And at this point, I think we literally just sit on this. I don't think there's a way for them to kill this. Yeah, even if, um, um, even if they manage to make this like so small, they'd have to have 30 spells in Grave. I don't think they, they're able to put 30 spells in Grave, especially not with the Pot of Desire, so... Oh, well, they're going to battle on their own stuff, because they can't read. <laughs> oh no, okay, they're using the standby effect. Okay, I thought they were using the main phase effect. Okay, are they playing an out to... ...some random extra deck card that lets them out Avermax? Let's see. Oh, well, the droplet works. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this is just a dub? Yep, they did. No, they, they drew droplet. It's fine. They, they have the out. Guys, I think you lied to me. <laughs> They're playing droplets. <laughs> Shit. Yo, maybe they don't know this thing has an effect. Yeah, I forgot about Droplet. I forgot to. I also forgot about Droplet. But that's fine. I think this was like the only thing we could have done, honestly. I don't think we had like another play. Other than like making seals and passing, but like... They, they still have Baron that could pop every turn, so... You think they top decked it? Probably. Or else they would have uh, set it, surely. Yeah. I feel like they, uh... <laughs> I feel like I've been getting sacked a lot this duel, not, not gonna lie. <laughs> Cause, uh... Like, I'll look at their deck list, I'm pretty sure they're only playing Windabiru, which they had. And then they probably, they most likely top deck the droplets, because as you said, uh, they, they would have said it, so. Man, that's kind of rough. Alright, what are they going to take? Red Eyes? Halk? Yeah, they're going to make access code, I think. Okay, for real though, if they make access code, that'd be kind of funny. At least an access code that isn't big enough for this. Oh no, Unicorn, right? No, Zeke, okay. Alright, so... They're gonna banish Evermax. We will get to spin Zeke, I think. No, it's sent to the graveyard, shit. Yeah, I still live, but, um... I mean... Not really sure what I can go for, right, so... Because I only have Tempest in Grave. Eventually, they're gonna fi figure out that they should probably get rid of Tempest. Uh... What can I top deck here? I have no clue. 
Wait, Evermax comes back? Wait, until the opponent's next end phase. Wait, that's right! I mean, I don't think he's immune to destruction, but if they do try an access code pop it, I, I just get to spin back the access code, so... Yo, what? And they only have like... I mean, are they playing three Zeke? Because there's two Zeke in the graveyard. Wait, are you serious? They... They have to sack another droplet to win. Yeah, hopefully they... I mean, surely they banished at least one, in, right? With Desires? You don't know if he gets the IP effect? I wouldn't think so, so... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five spells, okay. So I could still make Tempest... I mean, I gotta try something, right? So, let's just bandage these two. This is some ruling you don't know? Yeah. Fortunately, I don't know it either, so... Here, they might just take Tempest. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. So I wonder if they realize that Evermax is coming back. Yeah if, yeah, if it comes back with IP protection, yeah. That would be actually be insane, but... Or they can just drop it, get take, and then take the Evermax or something. I don't know. So here comes Evermax. Lol. So, uh, I don't think it does, but I, the, the big one is really the targeting protection. So, it still has the Honest effect, still can be targeted. But, I guess another they're gonna take Tempest. They're gonna take something else, probably red eyes. Uh, look it up. I feel like we're we're about to find out, but if we don't, then uh... <laughs> okay. So they're gonna go for their own IP play with uh, drones as well. Okay. I think they're gonna. We're about to find out if access code is uh, affects it or not. Even if they access code it though, I do get to spin back the access code with the Evermax, so... It's not like all is lost quite yet. You think it, if it does get the protection, that's huge. Also, look at this dude, wow. But I, I don't think it does. I'd be surprised if it does. Well, at this point, I don't know why they don't just make the... Uh... Oh, we are about to find out. Let's see. Do oh, my God. Okay, oh, no, no. Right, right. They're just sling climbing. Yo, imagine if they use the effect. What? <laughs> yeah, spin back your own card. There you go. <laughs> or chain droplet. Watch. They're gonna chain droplet. Nope. Okay. They they actually just forget that Evermax can be targeted. Okay. Maybe they just use droplet because they before. Because they were like, oh, I have to drop with this, but they didn't realize that it couldn't be targeted. It's just by random coincidence. Okay, if they make Evermax and this thing doesn't die, that is huge.
If it does die, then that's kind of rough. Pais, I hope you're correct. We are hopefully about to find out about this ruling. Alright, let's go. Let's find out. <laughs> Can access code out Avramax? Wait, wait, Pisces, you looked it up? Don't tell me yet. Don't tell me yet. I don't want to see it yet. I want to find out. <laughs> Shit, it should have the protection? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> if it does, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> don't, don't chain drop it, by the way, please. Oh, I hope it does. I hope it does. No, it doesn't. Ah, oh, rip. All right, Pais, I don't know where you got your information, but uh, <laughs> apparently they lied. Yo, if you have call by as well. Shane Maxi. <laughs> They've never read a card in their life. <laughs> oh, am I really about to lose to someone like this? Are you serious? Yeah, you can just have it back. Yeah, brain control is because they it doesn't leave the field. IP, in this case, it left the field, so... Yo, they have seven extra deck, extra deck cards. One of them is access code. How many more Sky Strikers do you think they have? So they went through three Shizuku. This is their second Hayate, I think? Second Hay Hayate. Three Shizuku. One Kagari. Yo, okay, they're actually... Okay, I know this looks bad, but they're actually... Do they have an out to Tempest? Listen. Um, okay, this looks really bad, and it I can probably die because they're going to set four, but like... They're actually running out of Sky Strikers in their extra deck. And yeah, their out to Tempest is simply to take it or uh, use the Shark Cannon, I think. Wait, that's it? No shark can? Okay, yo. If they actually run out of Sky Striker cards, that I think that might be a win condition. So unfortunately... Oh no, they, they might be able to make double Hayate next turn. Unfortunately. Because we drew cross out, which is not what I wanted. Um, okay. Well, let's see. Bench these two. I'm at the limit of my resources. Well. Maxi. Wow, they actually drew into all their maxis, huh? Yeah, no. Seven cards left in the extra deck, okay. How many engaged? Uh, well, one of them is banished. Well, they're both banished now, so that's their last engage. Um, shit. Okay, so... I think if they're smart, they're gonna hold the Widow Anchor for their turn. If they do that, I actually don't have an out and we lose. But unfortunately, this is all we have, so... Actually, I think I lied. We, we might have an out to the Widow Anchor. Okay, you know what? Their plan right now is to... No, they didn't use Widow Anchor. Their plan right now is they're gonna go on their turn, Link Summon, use Widow Anchor, take Tempest, and attack for game. Joke's on them. I'm gonna set Tempest. I'm gonna set it. <laughs> now they can't take it. <laughs> I live another turn, let's go. <laughs> they can't take my Tempest. Tribute set, because it has to target a face-up card. If I leave Tempest on the field, they'll just take it. I'm probably still dead. But at least now they can't take my own monster to kill me. 
So they have to, like, make something else. <laughs> That's so base! I know, right? <laughs> they have another striker name, they win. Uh, yeah, they could probably just no normal summon something. <laughs> they can't break- no, and it's a defense position. They can take it all they want, let's go. It doesn't matter. You can't kill me with it. <laughs> Man, do they not have another Hayate? Man, I think... Yo, okay, thank you for the ruler fuel. Yo, unironically, I think they're actually running out of Sky Strikers. Like, this is going to be annoying to have to deal with, but they're at six cards, okay? Yo, okay, can I actually? No way. It's gonna be rough because they still have the Widow Anchor. Um, now, okay, now they have double Widow Anchor. Double Widow Anchor, and I forget what the other one is. Shit. <laughs> Any dragons good here? <gasps> oh no, 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 it's too risky. I can't, I can't try and make Baron. I can't. Uh, what? I can't even summon Tempest. I'm, I have one dragon left. <laughs> Surely they won't kill my Ash Blossom, right? <laughs> it has too much defense. And they can't Widow Anchor it. Let's go. You're at five cards left. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Ash Blossom. You got this. I believe in you. the biggest normal set monster I have in my deck. Oh, that, what are they going for? You know things are rough when both people are su summoning and setting Ash. What is this, Zeke? Haka Fibrax? Another Ash off the top. What can they possibly go into? They already used Unicorn. No, no, they, they, they already used Unicorn. Surely they don't play another one, right? They have Selene, okay. Oh, wait, what does Selene do again? Yeah, I know Selene's too big, but uh, I don't actually remember what Selene does. Yeah, wait, wait. They have three. I think they don't. <laughs> I don't think they are. Wait. Please tell me they do not have a Link 3, and they just shut down their whole thing. They have three cards left in deck. Oh, uh, don't... Don't Link Summon. One, they have four cards left in the extra deck, one of them is Axis Code. That means they have three cards left in the extra deck. <laughs> no fucking wait, wait. No, 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 no. No, oh, shit, they have. No. Okay, there it is. Nightmare Phoenix. Oh, it's barely big enough. It's barely big enough. Shit. Okay. Ah, okay. One second. Um. Okay, this is rough. I need, uh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck, wait. No, 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 that's, uh... Mmm. Nope, that's not what I needed. Um. If I summon Tempest, they just take it. And then they kill me with it. They nor- you know what? They normal summoned Ash Blossom. That tells me they don't have another normal summon. Unless they were specifically going for Hulk, but... Yeah, I don't want to summon the Ruler because they have Widow Anchor. They'll just take the Widow Anchor. Uh, I think the idea here is that... They don't have a no another normal summon. They can't do anything. Instead of giving them Tempest and letting them kill me with it, I'm going to wait one more turn to see if I can't do something. Yeah, I think I have to pass too. 
Listen, if they have it, they have it, but... Oh my god. They're down to two cards, guys. Two cards in deck. Oh my god. Okay, this next one has to be big. This next one has to be huge. <gasps> one, two. They don't have another Ash Blossom. Let's go. Here we're gonna go for... Let's go. Um, I think we can go for Tefnuit. <laughs> okay, all the vanillas in our... I, I, unfortunately, I have to banish all the vanillas, but let's see. We're going to summon out Tefnuit. I think here we... Do we summon Nipthet? Okay, here's the plan. I think we summon out Nipthet. Uh, Widow Anchor is not a hard once per turn, no. But that's fine. I think here we can, uh... I think here I summon out Tempest. No, no, I can't. I summon out Nephthet in attack position. Because right now Tefduit can't attack, so I summon out Nephthet. Summon out Tempest. They're either gonna take one, both, or none. If they take both, that's fine. They come back to me at my end turn. If they take one, that's fine. We just kill the Nightmare Phoenix and we'll live. Guys, I think we actually have this. One second. Unless if I'm, like, mistaken. No monsters. Okay. If they use both Widow Anchors right now, that's fine. Both of these guys are too big for them. And even if they take Tempest next turn... Uh, oh wait, no, that's right. I forget, they could just, uh... They could just do nothing, I guess. Yo, this is huge, actually. Let's see what happens. Do they take... No, 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 uh, I'll make seals. They can't kill me with a zero attack point monster. I'll make heretic seals. Let's fucking go. They can't kill me with seals, buddy. It has zero attack. <laughs> That's their plan. Their plan is to take both? Well, guess what, buddy? <laughs> you can't have nothing. I'm not giving you anything. Here's a zero attack point monster, buddy. Have fun. You have two cards left in the deck. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Playing around Widow Anchor like a fucking pro. I know their plan. Their plan is to take my guys on their turn so they can kill me with them. Seals actually is a win, yeah. And now that they now that they waited until their turn, I can actually use seals. Seals past the FTK, you damn straight. They're one card left in deck. Let's go! <laughs> no way. Let's go! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Bro, I think they're out of monsters. They're straight up out of monsters. Pice, even if they have a monster, it doesn't matter. I can, I can chain seals at any point. This will summon another monster from my deck in defense position with 0-0 stats, so they can't even use it. They can't do anything right now. They could link it off. Uh, 
Well, because they waited, if they used it, uh, what they could have done is on my turn, use uh, the one Widow Anchor, take Seal, so it comes back in the main phase, then I can't use it. But because they waited... Yo, what? Are they excavating? Oh, no, no, they're doing this, okay. Wait. <gasps> no way. Is the last card in deck Metal Foes Fusion? <laughs> no way! <laughs> okay, no, they're going for Hornet Drones, okay. In defense position, okay. Wait, they have a Metal Force Fusion in circulation. Guys, they have Metal Force Fusion. It's not here. Um, what? Yeah, I will bounce here. By the way, they... Bro, they have a... They used a, a monster. They have a monster in their main zone. What? Okay, this is huge. I think I can make Baron here, because they've clogged up their own uh, monster zone. We'll activate this. I think I will leave the token there, by the way. I have an extra seals as well. Here we're gonna return... No, it's fine. I want to float into something in my deck. This card in the field sent to the graveyard by a card effect, yeah. Let's summon out... Yeah, let's bring out Sue, why not? Alright, I guess I could have hit this, huh? Whoops. Could just beat them down. Oh, we are. And before they have like another ma maxi, by the way. Oh, we're just beating them down now. It's over. You know what's perfect when your opponent has nothing? Actually, is this like a is this a massive mistake? Actually, because we know for a fact they have two widow anchors, right? Yeah. No, I think I think we we can pop one of the widow anchors and that will be it. So Welcome back, Baron. How you doing? Doing good? Awesome. We missed ya. Droplet. Yep. Sending pot of desires. They're sending two. Yeah, I could just negate this, right? Ah! Do I negate this? Actually? Let's see. Yeah, I want to negate this because if they do summon... Yeah. I have to. I'll negate this. By the way, these straight up just don't have any more monsters, so lol. Uh, we're gonna pop this one. I think the leftmost is a... Yeah, that there goes one of those. Uh... Do we just sit on this? Actually, it's fine. Yeah. You know what? And we go battle, we attack over the token. Uh, no, 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 I don't want them to take it with Widow Anchor, yeah. Here we do pass, yeah.
You know what? Because they, uh... No, it's fine. Uh, they can't kill me. I crashed the token in what? I used Baron's effect. There we go! Let's go! <laughs> yes! Let's go! Baron bounce back into a, a, Nash, a, a Nash Blossom. Look at that. Out resource the Sky Striker player. Let's fucking go. <laughs> no, okay, I have to save this yet. Yeah, clip it. Oh, please do. Please do. I'm gonna save this thing. I'm gonna I have to save this replay. Wow. Holy Out resource the Sky Striker player by just out grinding them in every way possible. Oh, I just need to make space, uh... Let's see. Do I need to keep this one? Yo, no way! <laughs> they ran out of monsters! <laughs> they ran out of monsters, I can't believe it. That was so anime. Oh, it, it certainly was. What is, what is this one? Gets odd eyes. I guess we can get rid of it. I don't really really remember why exactly I saved this one, but Yo Yeah, I don't really remember why it was sa I saved this one But yeah And Pice was saying at the start of the duel GG Sky Strikers will out resource you. They'll out resource everyone <laughs> Nah <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, Tempest is such a good card. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's insane. Yo, that was so good. Holy. It's 20 turns. Confirm opponent's deck. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. The one Nibiru. They totally sacked me with that one Nibiru. No way. It's so good. It's got to. It's got to get banned. Wait, they did a. No, they couldn't have made Celine earlier. How can Fibrax and um, Ash aren't uh, spellcasters? To make Celine, you needed a spellcaster. It's so good. It's got to get banned. <laughs> Wait, Tempest? No, <laughs> leave him alone. Let's go save replay. Oh, I need to look at their deck, yeah. That was ridiculous. Oh, see, so they banished... Well, no, they, they used one Veiler. They used the Veiler on the Sloth? Yeah, rem no, remember? There was a turn where they used Veiler on Sloth, and that's the turn where they managed to Nibiru me. But uh, they did banish the other two Veilers, so that's why, why when they went into Halk, they were surprised they couldn't make a uh, Celine. Yeah, that's why. They banished all the Veilers. They, yo, we actually, they actually, yeah, they did sack me really hard. Nibiru with Veiler, yeah. But yeah, they actually ran out of uh, Sky Strikers. They used both Zeeks. They used all three Shizuku. They used Kagari. They used both Hayates. They used Kaina. They went through everything. The last... Wait, what the hell? Why is Zeus in here? Oh, so that if they could take it next C, I guess. But yeah, so... Their... Their extra deck that was left was... A, one Zeus, one Selene, one access code. Yeah, so they went through all the Sky Strikers. They ace uh, Raze. They went through the Rose. They went through Nibiru. They used... Pretty sure they used all three Maxis. They used all three Ash Blossom. Wow. Holy. Wow, that was close. But my god, the big brain big brain player just setting it because I, I knew exactly what they were gonna do. They wanted to take a They wanted to take my own monsters on my turn on their turn and, and finish me off with them. I think tributing over Tempest with a set was like the single most big brain move I've ever made. The bit, the biggest read I've ever made. 
and then a set and uh, go uh, like Ash being just big enough to like stall for a while, <laughs> passing a turn, hoping they don't have a normal summon to finish me off. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. The tribute set was the best play ever. Yeah. It's like, yeah, because they didn't they didn't stop me from crashing over. Um, I think at that time it was like their uh, Hayate or a Phoenix. They, they didn't stop me. So like, I figured, okay, so they're just going to try and kill me with Tempest on my turn. But wow. Tribute setting over your own monsters so they can't kill you and then finishing on the battle that they put back in my own extra deck, by the way. <laughs> it, was, it was just Labyrinth Wall? <laughs> it's that Labyrinth Wall, bro. It's so good. What was left in my extra deck? Because uh, there was a time where they, they just straight up just shuffled back the battle into my extra deck to summon out their own monster. Which ended up being huge for us. Wow. And I think their last card in deck was the um, Metal Fuss Fusion. Because technically I think they... Well, it was in circulation after the Desires, I think. Yeah, it was in circulation after the Desires. So I think they still had it. And they could have technically used uh, the uh, multi-roll to keep resending it to the graveyard and draw... I don't know. You can't return it and draw it, so it's not infinite. Yeah, you can't stall forever, actually. Okay, so they probably still had it, but it wouldn't have done what I thought it did. Okay. Wow. That was insane. Wow. Let me just... Uh... Man, even though they also ups upstarted, yeah. Oh yeah, they used upstart goblin when they were like decking out. Like what? Oh yeah, that's so true. They used they used upstart goblin, and I ended with one thousand one hundred. Hey, Hen, how you doing? I think you just missed like the greatest duel I've ever had. <laughs> you just missed the greatest duel I've ever had, dude. <laughs> no way. I'm looking at it real quick. Holy. Yeah, you just missed it, Hen. Alright, you know what? Just for you, Hen, and because I also really, really just want to see it again, let's play it again. <laughs> My god. So they actually opened their one of Nibiru. We'll watch it now, yeah. Holy. Uh, the duel was 20, 20 turns. I don't know in actual time though. So this they didn't chain to Maxi because they absolutely wanted to get the search, which I guess is fine. Holy dude. Oh yeah, and by the way, what I don't know what the ruling for this part is. So if I activate cross out now, so what their maxi is uh doesn't resolve and then mine is still fine, I guess. Because it's already resolved. I think so. I think I think I could have done that, but I mean for one draw it didn't really matter. Them putting a Summoning this in defense position was huge. Holy. Mother, that's one Tempest summon. I I'm gonna count the number of times I summon out Tempest. <laughs> just for- just for the sake of it. Yeah, here they bait out the battle, which was good on them, I guess. Yeah. 
here comes Nibiru, yeah. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Wow. Also, I do I do have to I do kind of enjoy how we both have one Nibiru in our decks and we both just top decked it. What's happening? Uh, I'm just rewatching the duel I just had. Because I can't believe I won that. Bruh. Sorry, we'll get back to du the duels right after. I just, uh. I need like a break to uh, think about what the hell is happening. <laughs> That's the second summon. Oh, in the duel, what's happening? Uh, I'm playing Heretics against Sky Striker. And, uh. Man, what isn't happening? So. Ah, oh my god. Here, uh, a, a lot of things happen. It's really hard to process, honestly. Yeah, so they took my Baron. Baron only has one negate, though, so they already used it, which is dead. And yeah, I made Avramax thinking that they couldn't out it, but they had a droplet, so that happened. <laughs> Small brain. Yeah, no, they, I, I think this was my biggest brain duel ever. Yeah, they had double engage, double widow anchor after using Pot of Desires, by the way. Wow. So they banish. <laughs> it's a shame that Avermax doesn't keep the protection, though. That would have been really busted. What the third time I summoned it? Wow, that was ridiculous. So here they're doing all this just to pop off to make access code to out this. Luckily, Avramax, uh, has an effect to return a card to the extra deck, uh, well, to the deck when he goes to hits the graveyard. Also, here they actually, uh. Yeah, they, they did miss Lethal, yeah. Also, that you can't rem you can't forget that they used the Unicorn to spin their own card back into their deck. <laughs> Which was kind of funny, actually. But yeah, they could have, um. I think if they would have waited on, uh, well, no, actually, Avermax was always going to come back, so I don't think they could have. <clears throat> but yeah. yeah. At that point, they are. It was turn 10, they al already had like 7 cards in deck. You know, maybe I should have let them uh, draw a card with uh, Maxi. <laughs> maybe chaining cross out designator to Maxi was a uh, was a misplay. I should let them deck out. Who knew that? Who knew deck out was the win condition? Yeah, if they kept the Maxi, yeah. Yeah, I think they could have, yeah. Oh no, actually no, they they couldn't get over my monsters when I set them. I don't think Maxi would have done anything for them. But yeah, setting this... Oh, it was Nephthet, it wasn't a set, it was Nephthet. Set Nephthet. Set Ash Blossom. <laughs> now they're running out of cards real thin, it's like 5. 
They upstart for some reason. I guess they don't know that the count of the monsters in their deck. Skipping a turn, hoping that they don't top deck a single monster. Yeah, if they did keep Maxi and they didn't use Upstart, then yes, they would have won this turn, I think. But that's in hindsight, right? I guess they didn't realize that I could uh, actually out this. So they're holding all of this thinking I'm going to leave this on the field, but no. Out come Seals. Not taking Seals was a mistake as well, at least on my turn. Because uh, when it comes back to me, it would have been in the uh, main monster zone and I can't use the effect. Yeah, and with one card left in deck, that is simply it. But then we make Baron, and uh, that's it. Yeah, shuffle back the Baron so they can't kill me with it, and there you go. Although technically, I don't think they had a, uh, they didn't have any, uh, another way to get rid of the token though. So, but I, I didn't know that. So, wow, that was ridiculous, dude. All right, one more win to platinum tier two. Whew, can we make it? All right, we go. We got heads. Let's go. Ash, Blo Ash Blossom's big booty was too much, yeah. It definitely was, actually. Uh, we can activate this and Tefnu it, I think. Yeah, they don't have anything, okay. Wow, that was, uh... That was something, for sure. You think you might go to bed? All right, sounds good about Pice. Uh, thank you for hanging out. And yeah, the plan here, since I only have one more win until I get to Plat 2, I think after, if this is a win, I think I will end the stream here as well. So uh, I don't think you'll be missing much on the uh, <laughs> the Platinum Climb. But uh, yeah, thank you for hanging out. And uh, I'm glad you were there to uh, <laughs> to witness the uh, the amazing moment. Uh, let's go for Romulus, yeah. Let's go for this. All right. Could shuffle a card back. Uh, let's go with uh, Ravine. Discarding Serpent, I think. We'll send a Tempest. Oh, draw into Ash, that's pretty good. Here we can make Summon Safer and make Seals. I don't think it's worth using Safer right now, so. Let's go for Seals. At this point, I'm pretty sure they don't have Nibiru. <coughs> ah, I could summon this. Special Red Eyes, bring out Tempest, Red Eyes brings out a Serpent, I guess. Yeah, and it didn't give a response for um, Nibiru, so I think this should be fine. Alright, let's go. 
actually, yeah, let's uh, make this instead. Yeah, instead of going for a Red Eyes Darkness Metal, we can just do this. Here we'll banish a Light and a Dark. Just kidding. There you go. Yeah. Let's summon out Tempest. And out comes Baron. Alright, let's see. No, we will not negate. We'll summon Rocks Rose. Rocks Rose will search. Basil Rose Shoot, okay. And. I think that's it. How could make get us an extra card, but I don't think that's too useful. Now let's just go into Seals and sit on this. Alright, yeah, let's just set this and be done with it. There we go. So we have an Omni, Negate, a Bounce, and an Ash Blossom. Is this gonna, going to be enough? Let's hope so. Did you cut out Distrudo this, <laughs> this because of the burn? No, uh... I think it's because it never came up. Uh, I actually forget why I cut it. Here we're gonna Ash Blossom this. Oh, do they have a call by? They have call by, it might actually let it go through. I don't know. Okay, I hate I said that because I really don't want this to go through. Um. They're just adding a card. But no, I actually don't remember why I cut out this Trudeau. I think, um... I think it just didn't really matter. Because they have Maxi, they have Harpy's Feather Duster, Maxi again. Oh, it's Altergeist! Holy, wow. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, so that's going to be Alter Guys. That's why I'm not too upset about letting this go through. Never let it dig for six. I mean, I also like the uh, information, and look at that. What do you say? Ah, never let it dig for six. Freak, one day, one day maybe you'll be as big brain as me. <laughs> no, uh, like, I, you, it is a valid point. Digging for six is huge, but, like, it's like, I... I my thought process is like, okay, so they use call by on Ash. So on my turn, they can't use Ash anymore. And not only that, well, first of all, I'm not wa wasting my one negate on one with uh, for Baron on their call by. And also, I get to see what they're playing exactly. So, you know, it was this, or, you know, I do use the negate, but then if they have like. Out if it's like a combo deck or whatever, then I really regret it. So um, I definitely could have been punished by that. That is true. I definitely could have been punished by letting them dig for a six, but uh, in this case, apparently, hey, no, it didn't matter. So, all right. Yeah, that was actually pretty sick. Current win streak and rank. Okay. Well, I mean. It, wait, okay, I'll see. What time is it? It's almost midnight. Okay, I think I will... I think I will end it here. Like, if, we'll, we'll end it on the, end this on a high. Like, this is a good place to stop. We'll end it here, because it is kind of late. And next stream, it, we will try and finish grinding, like, the whole grind to platinum. Uh, one, to be more specific. But yeah, no, uh... This was actually really, uh, I was gonna say it was really quick, but not really. This duel was, uh, took forever. 
Yeah, are these the start times of the duels or something, or... Like, uh, if you look at this one, this one took like... That's what, like, 18 minutes? Yeah, this one took 18 minutes. Then this duel took... Wait, this duel took an hour? Is Wait, is this the, is the start time or the end time on top? Yo, I'm tempted to say that, like... I think that the, the, the time there is the time that the duels ended. I think that's when the duel ended. So I think that this one, the duel against the Sky Striker player, took an hour. Like almost a whole hour. No way. Oh yeah, yeah, this is when the, the, the duel ends. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, this ended at like 43 something. I think. Yeah, this would be a reasonable amount of time, yeah? Yo, that duel took an hour, no way. Wow, that's crazy. Well, yeah, so... I think that's a good point, place to end it here. Next stream, we will continue to dig for... Uh, We'll, we'll continue to try reaching for a Platinum 1. Uh, fortunately for us, we are only one rank away. Yeah, so we only need like four wins left. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, it's pretty late now, so I think we will... Uh... And plus, I think we'll end it on a high note. Uh, I think this is a good place to stop, so... We could certainly try and do that, yeah. And yeah. So this is the deck we we used. Uh, pretty solid overall. Sloth is extremely clutch. <laughs> yeah, the the sloth tech I added is really huge. Like it's come up so often. Like at first, at first I was like, not sure. I was like, this kind of win more, but man, this thing just comes up so often. It's actually kind of really. It's ridiculous how good it is. But yeah, no, this is great. All right, yeah, so I think uh, this is it. This could be it for today. So on that note, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please uh, follow. I it would help me out a lot. And hopefully I get to see you guys next time. Yeah, so on that note, uh, I think I'll set up a raid for mini folk, because why not? There you go. So, setting up the raid right now. And then, once the raid is over, we will simply end the stream. Alright, so, uh, there we go. Yeah, so that, that was a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully we can simply end it uh, next stream as quickly as uh, this one was. So, on that note, uh, oops. Yeah, on that note, thank you everyone for watching and uh, see you guys next time. Uh, peace.